Hello beautiful. First of all, I just want to wish you a happy birthday. It's unfortunate that I can't be there to give you a big hug and tell you just how much I love you. But I wrote something for you. Um, I put quite a bit of thought into this. And if you know Papa, Papa doesn't do that well. Um, it's called My Sweet Remy. I really hope you like it. It says, Remy, when did you become a six-year-old? Where has the time gone? There are moments I still feel you dance, dancing in Mama's belly, nestling your tiny face in the nape of my neck as I burped you. The smell of dried milk and baby powder on your skin. You are and will always be my baby, my angel, my popos, and mainly my chicken butt. I loved every minute of our time together. When mama was pregnant with you, you sleeping with me, safe from the world, you taught me so much at a time when I needed it the most. At 34 weeks, you wanted to burst into the world, but you knew you needed a little more time. Mama was in preterm labor with you, in and out of the hospital for weeks. You were a leader. You listened to your needs, and you're not afraid to make them known. I honor that about you. I knew this about you before I even saw your face. Finally, it was time you came with, when it was time, you came with ease, quickly and gracefully. You dance at a mom with your perfect round head and gorgeous face. You have always moved this way, like you were a ballerina at a pre in a previous life, stolen from the last scene of Swan's Lake, continuing your performance in this life. I could watch you dance forever. You are a quite observant spirit. You watch tentative, calculated a master at making your moves appear fluidly spontaneous. How do you do that, Remy? You take your time, and then you jump in completely. I remember bottle feeding you, mama nursing you. I had to be patient and willing to wait. You would drink slowly, mindfully, filling yourself to prepare to be awake, aware and engaged in everything you did. I watch you grow this way from sitting Sitting up to crawling, to walking, running, sprinting, climbing, dancing, coloring, playing, running at the lago with Papa. Everything you do, you make it look effortless because you took the time to learn, to watch, and to know first. I have relished and witnessed your development. You are so kind, Remy, and sensitive. You understand what others need before they even do. Being gentle with your friends, helping your brother. The way you would just come up and touch my hand and say, Papa, I love you. I will never forget what you said to me about a year and a half ago. Well, it's probably more now. We were sitting at the table and you looked through the glass and said, Papa, I have to say goodbye. From the first time I looked in your eyes, I recognize that you know, you know in ways I never will. You understand and I hope you never ever lose that. I will help protect your knowledge, your eternal love and wisdom as long as I live. You know, my favorite time with you have been at the Lago. You love being there, walking next to me as we walked holding hands. You love to practice soccer too. With ease, kicking the ball like you have practiced your whole life. And boy, when the music was on, I could hear you humming and singing as you bobbed your head from side to side. Singing. You love to sing. The way you move your lips and swayed your hips to the songs you perform. 
But the moment I looked at you, you became shy, embarrassed almost. Please dance and sing, always. No matter who is looking or not looking, it doesn't matter. It is how you feel, your spirit. I can tell. You love school, learning, reading, drawing, playing, sitting and watching you play with your baby doll. Sometimes you didn't even know I was watching, but I was. You're a caretaker, a lover. You love your daddy. Boy, did you love your daddy. I love how you eat. You take time, you enjoy every bite you taste. I learned so much from you. This is how you live your life. You taste every morsel of life. You are a bit picky with your food too. Let's admit that. You love pasta, crackers, yogurt, cheese. <laughs> Can we go and say shrimps? You would, you would eat fruits here and there and carrots with your ranch, but mainly the ranch. You certainly have a sweet tooth for chocolate. I believe it's your it's your favorite. Um, let's talk about your hair. You love hair, long hair like mama's. Your hair is perfect, Remy. Curly, wispy, a mind of its own, just like you. You love to dress yourself, and I would let you. Of course, I did. It is your body to dress. You love wearing your princess tiaras that grandpa gave to you. Take care of your relationship with your brother, your bond, love each other, and hold your differences as a gift, not as a disadvantage. Help one another through life and never leave or go to sleep without an I love you. Your favorite line, Remy, was I can do it myself. Yes, baby, I know you can do it yourself, but sometimes let others help you. It is a lesson I'm still learning myself. It does do us some good to let others help. And it also do us some good to let go of their responsibility from time to time. Speaking of similarities, you certainly have your moodiness and temper. Oh, Remy, you have thrown the tantrums of the century. Sometimes we would even be stuck in the car and park because you refuse to get in your car seat. I laugh about it now, but at the time, man, it was difficult. I got a taste of my own medicine. There's just something about you, something out of this world, and I respect it. I always will. I promise to support you in whatever you decide to do in life. I know it is your journey to have. Whatever you do and wherever you go, I will hold your hand. I will walk with you. I'm going to miss the day your tiny hand grows mine when I can wrap my little finger around your wrist and hop every crack on your way onto Panda. Nothing ever stays the same, but one thing, my boundless love for you, Remy. Remy, I love you from the roots of the earth to the moon and back. You and your brother are the loves of my life. Being your dad has been the greatest gift of my life. I know you will open this when you're all grown up. When I see you as a stunning young, grown woman you have become. But I also see the sparkling and twirling in the eyes. In your eyes are the the innocent tiny girl with her wispy dark curls, brown eyes, mismatched clothes, big smile of baby teeth and the little hand that wraps around my neck that whispers to me, Papa, I love you. I'm not worried about you because I know you're going to, you're going to be fine even when you don't think you will. You will always be safe. You will always be protective and protected. You will always be loved. Go adventure, babe. Be brave. Be bold. Be courageous. Because you were meant to discover 
to create, to learn and experience it all. I will love you every step of the way, no matter what. I love you, Remy Rem. Happy birthday.